Brotherhood Sister Soul was founded in 1995. We provide comprehensive support for young people. At its core, we're teaching young people to form an ethical and moral code, what it means to be men and women, leaders, brothers and sisters in their community, committing themselves to living in a more moral and righteous way. That means that we have intensive rites of passage programming, after school care, environmental education where our young people are creating farmers markets and, and building an environmental education space. It means intensive arts programming. It means international study where our young people spend a month in places like Ghana and South Africa, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Puerto Rico and Brazil. It's about young people being exposed to college and going on college tours and receiving support so that they can excel in higher education. It's about wraparound support services that enable young people to build long-term stable lives, to break cycles of poverty, and to ensure that they can really follow their dreams in their life. The big difference, I think, for black and Latino males is that there is no support system in place a lot of times. That is that instead of school being a place that, that nurtures and encourages where you receive support, it's often the place where they experience hardship and failure right. and, and starts the process of marginalization and, and as we call it now, the school to prison pipeline. It's this idea of a rites of passage, that if we say if you want to be a lawyer, you go to law school, and you want to be a doctor, you go to medical school. For many of our young men, where do you go to learn this very nebulous thing about what it means to be a man? Like everybody says that, I'm a man. What does that really mean? What's the core of it? And so we help young boys and young men to define it, what it means to be a man, literally to come up with a definition, something that many men have never done, to put down on paper, this is the ethical and moral code of manhood and we push them to define it and to redefine it. We challenge them when we see weak points. We try to help them to expand that definition. And that now becomes your governing tenet. That becomes your ethical and moral code on how you're gonna live your life. So the Rites of Passage program for Young Women Sister Soul is really a space for young women to develop as sisters, women, and leaders. So through a four to six year long Rites of Passage process, they think about and begin to embody these definitions and create life-lasting bonds with other young women and their chapter leaders as they grow from girlhood to womanhood. I think that when we have young women who feel like they are silenced and then they come to Sister Soul and they're capable of finding their voice. Young women who may have come to us in the seventh grade who are not doing so well or have a negative sense about academics and what's that mean for them. A lot of them think about, oh, I'm not going to be able to go to college anyway. And then they find their voice and then they go off to college and they come back and they are a pillar of the community. And they're doing more in the community, they're doing more in the school community. They have a better sense of self. I've learned to be strong at Sister Soul. Sister Soul has really taught me that I could just really be a strong and powerful individual and that there are other women who have been strong and powerful and even the chapter leaders themselves. But just being able to do this work every day and come and open up themselves to young females whom by the time they're leaving or graduating, they're so wise and so knowledgeable and it's just to like, they are a role model to like just being strong and being positive and I think they really they really do teach and what I really learned is how to be a strong positive role model. I learned so much about myself. Um, I know personally I've just come a long way from being the angry, disrespectful, loud one to the crazy, silly, profound, you know, headstrong one. And I mean they're kind of similar, but they are very different people, and I just thank Sister Soul for giving me that space to change. The Brotherhood Sister Soul is based in Harlem. We are very community-based, but we reach far beyond the Harlem community. We train educators all across New York City on our model, and internationally we train people all across the country, and in Bermuda, and in Brazil. We have international study programming, and we're really affecting policy now in a much broader way. 
training people on our approach in Pittsburgh, helping to advise on citywide initiatives here in New York City, speaking at conferences and educational convenings all across the country. It's about taking what we've learned over 18 years here in Harlem and reaching the model much more broadly, much more deeply to affect thousands of young people. Strength is having faith, having faith in a, in, in a certain direction and committing to a certain path that ultimately leads to something greater, something positive that others can look at and model. I think that's strength.